Hello everyone, welcome back to Me Know What You Like, Lucia here. Today on the channel we get another edition of K-Pop Catch-Up. Uh, we got two videos today. They are RM from BTS, Wildflower with Yujin, Jin, I probably mispronounced that, official music video, and then we also got So In Gook's Fallen official music video. Um, I haven't seen the teasers for all of these. I kind of just wanted to be surprised if I'm being honest and see what kind of vibes we're getting. Based on the thumbnail though, we've got some chill vibes all around. Maybe some fall sort of vibes. <laughs> yeah, so that's where we are. Without further ado though, let's get started right now. Big hit the Okay, got bombs a bursting. It's cool, seeing it from like fireworks. Yeah. I like his hair like that. Sorry, I'm reading lyrics, guys. So again, sorry guys, I'm reading the lyrics. Very, uh, uh, fits the atmosphere, the voice, the voice. It's very beautiful. I really like this. The embers of the night sky come falling down. This is my favorite part of the song. Endless possibilities. 
like a blank canvas, you know? nice um okay so i felt like if i had to get, say one negative thing which isn't really negative i wasn't a huge fan of the um the i don't know i don't know really think about music guys straight up there but i felt like the instrumental was so loud or like the backing of the the music was so loud that it was kind of hard to hear them sing sometimes when they, so when they s stripped away that and you can just hear them that was my favorite part of the song but with that being said it went really well with the vibe you know the kind of simplistic tune if you will vibes guys it was a nice vibe it was nice and also when i was watching this i was just getting you know, flashbacks, you know, memories of when, you know, a BTS first debuted and such and, you know, rap mods or an RM now. And the growth and maturity, you know, right on. I do know that there's other music videos. I do, I do know that. In the goal. All right, Fallen. So we go. If y'all haven't seen his baby music video, go watch it. It's a good ass song. Okay. Amber's another fire fire sort of. He's got a great voice. As always. I'm so missing someone. See who it was really. <laughs> oh, it's Kangmina. <laughs> I miss Google <Gugan> so much. <laughs> That's a very thin wedding band, bro. The chair do to you. Oh, you're just moving. Never mind. It's giving me some OST K drama vibes. I'm here for it. Oh, oh, that was a. That was an interesting transition. <laughs> they said, You're an actor! Act, sir! You're gonna set it on fire. Oh, like in the intro. It's gonna be set on fire. <gasps> it's giving me beach on the sand. It's giving me some Vix LR. Beautiful liar. Beach on the sand. Piano on the sand. 
stupid. <laughs> no. So it's like, okay, not think about it. Just go on. Throw away the relationship. If it's not good for you, go on. Gotta do what we gotta do, boo boo. I know it hurts, it's okay. That was really pretty. You know, yeah, you see, see, you see? It's funny because he started off a singer, but like oftentimes over the years, people forget that uh, he sings. You know, because he's been in a lot of K dramas. Yeah, that was really nice. Um, first things first, it has nothing to do with this. Also, that's my hair. Here we have um, Jellyfish Heart Project. AKA one of the best Korean Christmas songs ever is from this album. Kamina is not in this because, you know, Gugudon hadn't debuted yet, but So and was still in Jellyfish when this was here. This is when this was the Penis Garden. For those who don't know, there was only male artists in Jellyfish at the time, so they were dubbed the Penis Garden. But like Park Yo Shin, Vix, So and Gook. Yo, this, this, this was a lineup. So. It's a great song, and obviously Jellyfish had other Christmas songs after that, but it can never quite match that year. And then I was going to show my Goo Goo Dawn albums. I also have Semina and then Sejong Solos also, right? There. So yeah, I just want to share that with y'all. Basically, I love jellyfish artists and groups. The, you know, company is just a big-ass trash, though. Oh. I forgot to... When I was holding those. You know. Huh? I miss them. I didn't know she was going to be in music video, so that's nice. I miss her singing and rapping and dancing. I miss Google not in general. But back to this. Yeah, those two music videos that I watched... Um, both of them really cool, uh, very different themes of the song, so that's okay. But I was right on the chill vibes for both, though. Um, like I said, the RM1, I really liked it. I really enjoyed the lyrics. Just the, um, I guess mixing is what you call it. I don't know. I felt like, like I said in, in his segment, I just felt like the it was a little bit too loud compared to their voices. It was my only gripe. But yeah, that'll be it for today. What am I going to do next time? I honestly don't know. But for the Sunday of the 25th, I've decided it's just going to be Christmas things. Um, things that I react to K-pop wise on the 25th. And I already have, I'm, I'm waiting to watch um, the Funky Glitter Christmas by Index. So that will be probably one of the things I react to that day. And I know that um, Red Velvet and um, Aespa, Aespa, whatever, they're doing also Christmas things. So I'll probably do that one as well that day. So whatever Christmas things that come out between now and Christmas, I'll just wait until, you know, then to watch it. Also, I know that Minho from Shiny, I know his album's out, but his music videos isn't out yet. So then oh, I actually will be doing that one next week. But what else? I haven't decided. Anyways, that will be it for today. I will see you all next time.
Bye.